A hospital for koalas. Yes, it's hard to believe, but this is actually a real place in Australia. And you're probably like, wow, what a dream. I would love to work with koalas and help. Well, for this hospital, they always need help. So if you want to join them, then watch this video and find out all about it and we'll tell you the info. And we'll also sprinkle some cute koalas throughout. We are here at the Adelaide Koala Hospital and today, myself and Luba, she's doing a story, we're gonna volunteer. Now you're probably thinking, awesome, I get to volunteer close up with cute koalas, and yes you can. But guys, if you have no koalifications, get it, that was a good joke, uh, then you just gotta start with the dirty work. This is what you click the video for, to watch me scrub Oh yes. Just the, ah. Hello. 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 We Hello. have arrived. Welcome. Give us all the dirty hard Oh, work. we've got plenty of that for you, don't oh. worry. We'll get you some scrub tops to put over the, the top so you yeah. can stay nice and clean. <laughs> Ready for the day. Start with a few cages to scrub and stuff like that as well. Um, and I'll get one of the volunteers to help you putting together the food and things as well. But yeah, we've got plenty of dirty work for you to get into. Okay, so you come to a koala hospital and you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna see koalas everywhere. Well, it's better if they're not actually here because they're out there in the wild being all healthy. So in this case, this is what you see when you get here. All these koalas will be released back into the wild, but they're just here temporarily so they can heal, get healthy again and be strong enough to go back. Mum and baby um, doing really well, so should be released again soon. But it's beautiful to see that there are people like this and this facility even exists for the koalas to get better. So we're going to introduce you to some of our lorikeet friends to start okay. with that are nice and super super messy. So what we're going to need to do to start with is get them um, cleaned out and then um, we'll get them fresh leaf, flowers and fresh food and water and things like that. Who is going to be the, the scrubber? This is what we came <laughs> here for. I really hope I don't get attacked. Oh my god. Okay guys, just don't attack me, alright? Nope. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. We're going to clean all of this crap. I knew you did that earlier. Oh. This is the treatment room. So this is where all the animals come in off the streets or walk-ins and they get assessed. So either wildlife care has found them outside in distress, they come in, they can get swabbed, analyzed, and to figure out what, what needs to be done next to heal them or help them. Also, we're going to surprise this hospital with some gifts. So we have the amazing superhero Tash and she has been caring for wild animals for the last 12 years. And we have a little challenge for you. A right. gift to say thank you. Okay. So can you spell the word koala? Yes. K-O-A-L-A. -A. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> you win. You win. Here. A thousand dollars. Oh my gosh. To say thank I thought it was going to be chocolate. <laughs> wow. Oh my there god. You go. Thank you so That's much. You. Oh thank you. So we usually start with uh, full blood testing. We try for urine testing um, and we'll often do a full set of x-rays. So um, and depending on what we find from there we can start working out a plan. Um, quite commonly it's chlam chlamydia swabbing and things and we're working through with him trying to find out why he's not feeling um, as fabulous as he should be. And you never know what's going to happen in a hospital on any day. Now, when it comes to actually working with the koalas, the vets do most of the work because they assess it when it arrives. So for us, it was just doing checkups. How are you feeling today? Refreshing the food. <coughs> and helping with administering medicine. And you'll hang out with the koalas, yes. You'll get to see some crazy stuff, but it's basically cleaning with wildlife. Yeah, you think you deserve this break? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Luba, she's been cleaning all the cages. Oh. <laughs> and here's some more beautiful, adorable koalas for you to enjoy. Now, I know what you're thinking. You too want to go help clean at the hospital because you want to hang out with the koalas. And it's actually better at the hospital than going to a sanctuary because you're closer to the animals, you feel part of the community, and you feel much better giving back and helping. If you too want to volunteer as well, go to the website, email them, call them. You have to be in Adelaide, South Australia, and also have like a police cert so that you're not crazy. So get one of those too. And here's surprise number two for the reactions. This is for you, for all of you. <laughs> I make koala cookies. Oh, cute! Right. You made them all by hand. Yes. What are we making? She is an amazing baker and chef, so you should probably get her ebook. No, definitely get it. Oh my god, yum. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Not a 12? <laughs> 10 out of 10. So that's akawhospital.org.au. 
Tell them you're interested, send them an email, offer them skills, donate to them, help them out in any way you can. So if you wanna hang out like all these beautiful volunteers here that are so happy with, she's actually been here four years, so she's a full time here. Those two are volunteers and they're legends. Everyone's happy, smiley, it's a great family, it's good gratitude, yeah. I would highly recommend. Okay, let's go back and actually do some work. Your place will be nice and clean. It's pretty sad in here, to be honest, because this is their life. They used to be pet birds, but people just gave them up. They can't go back into the wild, they can't be released, because they've lost that imprint of what it's like to be a wild bird. They can't even fly, their wings are clipped. Um, yeah, don't get a pet bird, because this becomes your life. And it sucks to be stuck in a cage. So guys, most importantly, if you are thinking of getting a pet bird, then get one from places like this, not from a shop, as these guys need more love. And now on a much happier note, our final surprise gift. And I've decided to donate all the money from the sales to you guys, to the Polo Hospital. Really? Yes, to save oh, Polo. you yeah. guys are great. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you so much. That's amazing. Thank you. You guys yeah. have been amazing help. This is so funny here. We come to volunteer and yet we give them the money. But it's all for a good cause, so it's really good. You pay for the privilege of scrubbing poo off the ground. <laughs> okay guys, so now all you have to do is actually go and experience the koala hospital yourself in person. So if you ever make it to Australia in the future, then go volunteer. Now for more koala videos, we're releasing the future of koalas video, which should pop up on screen now. Otherwise, I'm just gonna plug myself here. So yeah, follow me at Daxon on Instagram, all the smiles, click the subscribe button, and yeah, I will see you beautiful people in the next video.